कोटि कोटि बंधन कभी नरसी मेहता यूनिवर सेती भक्त कभी नरसी मेहता यूनिवर सेती जय श्री कृष्ण गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार सभी को डॉक्टर पराग देवानी का वंदन भक्त कवि नरसी मेहता यूनिवर्सिटी जूनागढ़ के डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस एंड सोशल वर्क के समाज शास्त्र विभाग द्वारा आयोजित महान समाज शास्त्री स्वर्गीय एस सी दुबे साहब का जन्म शताब्दी वर्ष सेलिब्रेट किया जा रहा है उसी सिलसिले में आयोजित आज के नेशनल वेबिनार के अध्यक्ष एवं भक्त कवि नरसी मेहता यूनिवर्सिटी के यंग डायनेमिक होनहार और रिजल्ट ओरिएंटेड वाइस चांसलर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर चेतन त्रिवेदी सर वो आज कोई अनएवेडेबल सरकम संसिस की वजह से हमारे साथ नहीं जुड़ पाए हैं क्योंकि आज एक उसको इम्पोर्टेंट मीटिंग है अगर वो फ्री हो जाएंगे तो वो जुड़ जाएंगे आज के ये वेबिनार के चेयरपर्सन हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी मिजोरम सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी एजवाल के प्रोफेसर रविंद्र कुमार मोहंती सर जिन्होंने रिसर्च मेथोडोलॉजी में और रिसर्च में बहुत बड़ा काम किया है और वो खुद सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड स्ट्रेटेजिक पर्सन से जाने जाते हैं रूरल अर्बन स्टडीज जेंडर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ माइनॉरिटीज उसके ऊपर बहुत काम किया है ऐसे हमारे रविंद्र सर जी आज के हमारे स्पीकर जिन्होंने सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स इन इंडिया इंडिया के सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स में भी बहुत कई सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स को ऐसे ही सुलझाए दिया है और सोशियोलॉजिकल आस्पेक्ट से एवं हमारे हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड सोशल साइंसेस डिपार्टमेंट के विश्वेश्वरैया नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी नागपुर के डॉक्टर गोपी निम्बारते सर हम आपका स्वागत करते हैं हमारे आज के वेबिनार के कन्वीनर भक्त कवि नरसिंह मेहता यूनिवर्सिटी के डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस और सोशल वर्क के कार्य अध्यक्ष अध्यक्ष डॉक्टर जयसी जाला सर मेरे कलीग डॉक्टर ऋषिराज उपाध्याय हमारे साथ यूनिवर्सिटी के फेसबुक पेज और यूट्यूब के माध्यम से पूरे देश में से ऑनलाइन जुड़े हुए रिस्पेक्टेड सोशियोलॉजिस्ट एजुकेशनलिस्ट रिसर्चर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स आप सबकी वर्चुअल प्रेजेंस उपस्थिति हमारे लिए गर्व की बात है सोशियोलॉजी से जुड़े हुए सभी लोगों को हमेशा प्रोत्साहन देने वाले महान समाज शास्त्री स्वर्गीय एस सी दुबे साहेब ने विलेज स्टडी ऑफ इंडिया क्लासिफाइड विलेजेस ट्राइबल कम्युनिटी इन मध्य प्रदेश इंडियन सोसाइटी जैसे कई क्षेत्रों में अपना बहुमूल्य योगदान दिया है साथो साथ मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ और विलेजेस में भी उसने बहुत काम किया है ऐसे योगदान देने वाले इवन भारत में भी 1952 में 2 अक्टूबर के दिन सामुदायिक विकास योजना शुरू हुई थी उनमें भी स्वर्गीय एस सी दुबे साहब का अद्भुत योगदान था और अब वे योजना के मेजर पार्ट को महात्मा गांधी ग्रामीण रोजगार गारंटी योजना यानी मनरेगा में विलीन कर दिया गया है जिसकी वजह से आज पूरे भारत में लाखों लोगों को रोजगारी मिल रही है ऐसे विजनरी सोशियोलॉजिस्ट का जन्म शताब्दी वर्ष भक्त कवि नरसिंह मेहता यूनिवर्सिटी जूनागढ़ के समाज शास्त्र भवन द्वारा सेलिब्रेट किया जा रहा है जिसके आज का ये वेबिनार में स्वागत प्रवचन के लिए मैं भवन के अध्यक्ष डॉक्टर जयसी झाला सर को आमंत्रित करता हूँ प्लीज सर डॉक्टर जयसी झाला सर नमस्कार भक्त कवि नरसिंह मेहता विश्वविद्यालय जूनागढ़ गुजरात के समाज शास्त्र विभाग द्वारा भारतीय समाज शास्त्री मानव शास्त्री एवं एक कुशल प्रशासक और विभिन्न अंतर्राष्ट्रीय संस्थाओं के सलाहकार श्यामाचरण दुबे जी की शताब्दी वर्ष के उपलक्ष्य में आयोजित इस एक दिवसीय संगोष्ठी में उपस्थित होने वाले हमारे विश्वविद्यालय के कुलपति प्रोफेसर चेतन त्रिवेदी साहब जो किसी वजह से आज हमारे साथ जुड़ नहीं रहे हैं इस संगोष्ठी के चेयरपर्सन के रूप में उपस्थित मिजोरम केंद्रीय विश्वविद्यालय के समाज शास्त्र विभाग के प्रोफेसर एवं अध्यक्ष प्रोफेसर आर के मोहंती साहब बीज रूप वक्तव्य के लिए उपस्थित विश्वेश्वराय राष्ट्रीय तकनीकी संस्थान नागपुर महाराष्ट्र के ह्यूमेनिटीज एवं सामाजिक विज्ञान विभाग के अध्यक्ष डॉक्टर गोपी निम्बारते साहब एवं डिजिटल माध्यम से जुड़े हुए 
आप सभी लोगों का मैं डॉक्टर जय सिंह बिजाला अध्यक्ष समाज शास्त्र विभाग भक्त कवि नरसिंह मेहता विश्वविद्यालय जूनागढ़ गुजरात से तह दिल से हार्दिक स्वागत एवं अभिवादन करता हूँ इस सब्जेक्ट के बारे में चेयरपर्सन साहब से जब मेरी बात हुई तो उन्होंने बताया था मुझे पहले कि हम औपचारिक विधियों में कम समय रखेंगे और ज्यादातर हमारे सब्जेक्ट पर ही केंद्रित करेंगे फिर भी सर आपकी अनुमति से आपका संक्षिप्त परिचय देना हमारे लिए अनिवार्य बनता है इसलिए संक्षिप्त परिचय दो सर आप मिजोरम केंद्रीय विश्वविद्यालय में समाज शास्त्र विभाग के प्रोफेसर एवं अध्यक्ष पद पर कार्यरत है इससे पहले दो से दो तक पुलिस प्रशिक्षण एवं अनुसंधान अनुसंधान केंद्र में कार्यरत थे आपने 1982 में उत्कल विश्वविद्यालय भुवनेश्वर से अपनी स्नातक की उपाधि प्राप्त की थी इसी प्रकार भारत के प्रसिद्ध विश्वविद्यालय जे एन दिल्ली से दिल्ली से वर्ष 1984 में समाज शास्त्र में एम की और 1985 में एम की उपाधि प्राप्त की थी आपने 1985 नाइनटीन में मेरठ विश्वविद्यालय मेरठ में अपना पी का कार्य सम्पन्न किया और उसके बाद दो में कॉमन वेल्थ फेलो के रूप में नोटिंगधाम विश्वविद्यालय यूके में पोस्ट डॉक्टरल अनुसंधान कार्य पूरा किया था शोध के क्षेत्र में अर्बन स्टडीज प्रॉब्लम ऑफ माइनॉरिटीज एवं मार्जिन मार्जिनाइज एवं मार्जिनाइज लाइफ इन रूरल एवं अर्बन आपके पसंदीदा विषय रहे आपके पाँच सभी छब्बीस साल से अधिक सालों का शिक्षा का अध्ययन का अनुभव है शिक्षा एवं अनुसंधान के साथ साथ लेखन कार्य भी आपका पसंदीदा विषय रहा है आज तक फोर्टी सिक्स से अधिक आपके शोध पत्र उपलब्ध प्रतिष्ठित रिफर्ड एवं प्री रिव्यूड जर्नल में प्रकाशित हो चुके हैं आठ से अधिक पुस्तक प्रकाशित हो चुके हैं और बार से अधिक पुस्तकों में एक सह लेखक के रूप में आपने कार्य किया है सर आपका इस संगोष्ठी में उपस्थित रहना और चेयरपर्सन के रूप में उपस्थित लेना हमारे लिए बड़ी गौरव की बात है आपके मैं तह दिल से हार्दिक स्वागत एवं अभिवादन करता हूँ साथ ही साथ आज हम दुबे साहब के शताब्दी वर्ष के उपलक्ष्य में जिन विषय पर बात करने वाले हैं क्राइसिस एंड कमिटमेंट इन सोशल साइंसेस इस विषय पर 1983 में दुबे साहब ने अपने विचार प्रस्तुत किए थे और आज शायद ये हमारे लिए बेहद महत्वपूर्ण बात बन गई है कि सोशल साइंस के सामने कई प्रश्न उपस्थित हो रहे हैं तब इसी उपलक्ष्य में आज के संदर्भ में इस पर बात करना आवश्यक एवं अनिवार्य है और इसी विषय पर बात करने के लिए आज हमारे साथ विषय तज्ञ के रूप में उपस्थित हैं डॉक्टर गोपीनाथ गोपी निम्बारते सर जो विश्वेश्वराय राष्ट्रीय प्रौद्योगिक संस्थान कानपुर में ह्यूमनिटीज एवं सोशल साइंस विभाग के विभागाध्यक्ष हैं साथ ही साथ 12 साल से अधिक समय तक विश्वविद्यालय के हॉस्टल में वार्डन के रूप में भी आपने कार्य किया है आप के विश्वविद्यालय में बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडी के चेयरमैन के रूप में भी कार्यरत हैं आपने अस्सी से ज्यादा कॉन्फ्रेंस एवं सेमिनार में शोध शोध पत्र प्रस्तुत किए हैं आपकी 10 से अधिक पुस्तकें विभिन्न विषयों पर प्रकाशित हो चुकी हैं आपने कई कॉन्फ्रेंस एवं वर्कशॉप में भी सम्मिलित हुए हैं आप भारत की विभिन्न एनजीओ के साथ भी जुड़े हुए हैं और आज आप आपके विश्वविद्यालय में पी के मार्गदर्शक एवं पथदर्शक के रूप में भी कार्यरत हैं सर आपका विश्व विश्वविद्यालय परिवार की ओर से हार्दिक स्वागत एवं अभिवादन करता हूं हमारे बीच आपका होना और इस महत्वपूर्ण विषय पर वक्तव्य देना हमारे लिए बेहद गौरव की बात है पुनः आपका मैं विश्वविद्यालय की ओर से तय दिल से हार्दिक स्वागत एवं अभिवादन करता हूं साथ ही साथ समाज शास्त्र विषय एवं दुबे सर के जीवन विषय के साथ संबंधित जो रस रखने वाले लोग हैं वो भी हमारे साथ सोशल मीडिया के माध्यम से जुड़े हुए भारत के विभिन्न प्रांतों से उन सभी लोगों का मैं तह दिल से हार्दिक स्वागत एवं अभिवादन करता हूँ थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच चाला सर फॉर योर वॉम वेलकम स्पीच अब मैं आज के हमारे मेन स्पीकर विश्वेश्वरैया नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी नागपुर के डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड सोशल साइंसिस के हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट डॉक्टर गोपी निम्बारते सर को रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि वो अपना बीज रूप वक्तव्य के लिए हम लोगों को माहिरकार करे और अपना जो नॉलेज है वो हम सब में बांटे कि हम लोगों को भविष्य में यूजफुल हो सके प्लीज सर थैंक यू सो मच सर गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल अब हमारे मोहन जी सर बैठे हैं और उनके आगे बीज भाषण देना 
quite <laughs> it's uh, uh, even one said it's a pleasure for me as well as quite difficult to me but anyhow we will try the best and uh, uh, on occasion of uh, centenary uh, of our great sociologist and an anthropologist of india dr shamcharan dubey national webinar has been organized by department of social sciences and social works bhakt kavi narsing mehta university junagadh gujarat this this context i extend my uh, special thanks to dr jayshinna jhala sir for inviting me uh, to this esteemed workshop uh, national webinar i also thanks full to dr rushira zubadeh sir and parag devani sir uh, for giving a chance to uh, uh, have interaction with the audience i am happy to be uh, with our senior renowned professor in sociology dr ravindra kumar mohanty sir today's topic is crisis and commitment commitment in social sciences uh, with reference to the theme of national webinar uh, i would like to uh, share some points with relevance to today's context when we have rigorously study of our sham charan dubey sir uh, so many points so many uh, issues come to us and when we try to uh, mobilize these certain things with existing situation then we uh, get result how that particular theories or how particular thoughts are relevant with context to uh, social issues or social problems so uh, uh, i would like to cover the certain points uh, with context to today's era as we know that we are living in the globalization era globalization is and we have the certain global problem uh, the war between ukraine and russia is going on which uh, known to everybody and uh, how means how the humanity is in the trouble and with the certain danger situation how we have to be cope up how we have to be uh, come out uh, being a sociologist being a faculty of sociology or being a student of sociology generally when we see the certain thoughts because uh, the dubey sir has emphasis on the certain points which are related to the social issues and social problems particularly uh, his uh, studies related to the indian villages uh, tribal societies uh, structural functionalism that concept has been pulled out by our dubey sir in a large, large context and so many issues uh, correlated to as a functional manner that we call as a structural functionalism uh, particularly caste system and the various uh, issues related to the caste system uh, had been discussed in a various angle and generally when we try to uh, combine or correlate to to the caste system with today's context even nowadays also we can identify it and we can uh, understand the certain issues uh, i made a ppt so it will be convenient to me if you go through the ppt and i would like to share some of the my thoughts with relevance to the uh, sham charan dubey sir's thoughts just we'll go with ppt sure, Uh, is it visible, sir? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so, as we know, our topic is on the crisis and commitment in social sciences. Uh, so, generally, uh, first of all, we'll discuss what are the social sciences. As we know, what are the social sciences means the subjects or sciences which are directly and directly connected to the society, social phenomena. and social problems social issues called as the social sciences uh, generally i would like to uh, tell regarding this matter like uh, i am the faculty of the engineering college and when the student come from the various part of the country even from abroad and they join to our institute uh, generally they ask sir there are so many subjects which are related to our subjects like they are from engineering background so uh, it is good for them mathematics is there other subjects are there as per their specialization but there is a, always social science in our vnit generally Uh, the syllabus uh, prescribed by our uh, board of studies there is a social science there is a social science uh, psychology and management industrial sociology industrial economics certain subjects are there and when the student known to the certain social sciences they ask simple questions sir is there need of the social science because earlier we had done the study of the social sciences as a form of civics uh, sociology political science and certain subjects generally this is the common questions when we see what is the requirement of the social sciences to the engineers to the students to the common person ultimately there is a great utility and we need to understand the social sciences to identify to understand to sort out to eliminate 
the various existing problems and social issues which are pertaining, which are existing in our society, in our country. So that is why there is a requirement of the social sciences to have the detailed study and to sort out or to come out to sort out the certain problems. Generally, when we see, uh, when we read the various books of the Dubesar, uh, there are plenty of books has been written by Dubesar. And all the books, generally all the data or literature which has been uh, centralized in the particular books, it provides the utility, it provides the benefits or advantages to us, how the social sciences or how the social concepts are useful to us. Means utility of the social sciences are useful to, uh, means are convenient to us in daily life. And we try to uh, coordinate to it in our uh, certain uh, availability. Inclusion of social sciences for promotion of the ethical values in education system. As we know, it will be like a new education policy uh, because we are uh, modifying our syllabus as per the uh, suggestions recommended by the new education policy. And there is a special emphasis, there is a special focus has been given on inclusion of the social sciences for the promotion of ethical value in education system. Ethical values, uh, two to three books has been written by the uh, Shamcharan Dubey sir, means uh, particularly there are so many contents which are related to ethical values, values, norms and values, how uh, the norms and values are uh, useful and uh, uh, convenient to maintain the social control in the society. And that is why. Uh, there is an inclusion, there is an uh, indulgence of the uh, particular social sciences. Through that, we can get the knowledge of the norms, values, etiquettes, and certain things which try to maintain the social control. So anyhow, as per the uh, philosophical things has been suggested by our Dubey sir, we will try to coordinate, we will try to connect with our existing situation. Even nowadays, we see, uh, as per the recommendation of the uh, Ministry of Education and all, there is an inclusion of certain subjects which need to uh, develop or inculcate the certain good habits, etiquettes, and values through the social sciences in the young generation, uh, in the minds of the youths. In that way, we can maintain the right track of our young generation and we can channelize them appropriately towards uh, our society and our nation. So that beautiful work has been done by the social sciences. So that is why, as per the extensive uh, policy of the uh, Minister of Education, there is a special emphasis on the extension of the various subjects which are related to the social sciences. And anyhow, when we try to connect the certain philosophy or certain guidelines, it fit to the Shamsaran Dubesar's book or uh, or uh, he, uh, or his thoughts. Generally, towards patriotism and national integration. Uh, when we go through the literature of uh, the Shamsaran uh, Dubey sirs, generally we identify somehow uh, there is a, some focus, there is a, some uh, emphasis on the patriotism and national integration, which should be ignited, which should be come out from our heart and mind. Means being a citizen of India, how I have to help to my society, how I have to help to my country, and how I have to help to my, how I have to help my service to the nation. So that sense provide in the minds of the citizen and so that is why the patriotism and national integration can be ignited with the help of the social sciences and that had been uh, available in the literature of the uh, Shamjaran Dunesar's book. There is a requirement in every field of the professional and non-professional education system. Uh, in our engineering curriculum activities, uh, apart from uh, engineering syllabus, there is always, uh, as we know, that uh, uh, NIT, IIT structure, there is a department of humanities and under it there are so many subjects and through that we provide the knowledge to the young engineers, budding engineers, the knowledge regarding to the professional ethics, values and norms and etiquettes. Means the particular, uh, the social sensitization, that concept is available in our engineering field like uh, and through that we try to ignite the minds of the our young engineers and generally um, like I am the faculty of the social science. Uh, we have the 40 marks and uh, that is supposed to be ascendant marks or assessment marks, uh, 60 marks for uh, the written test and all. So generally when we uh, award the 40 marks, we identify or we evaluate the certain, uh, the social things which has been done by the particular student. And if it is good, then we give 40 out of 40 marks to them. In that way, they will get motivated. Like we visit to the NGO, we visit to the certain places where the social aspects are there. We visit to the slum area, we visit to the uh, rural society and all. And in that way, like uh, we also associate, associate with various NGOs, we help them, we run, means uh, we also uh, orphans and other uh, old age home and all. So when we do the certain social activities, so social sensitization and the certain social minds we can develop in the minds of the students. So that 
particular knowledge is connected somehow with the psychology or thoughts of the Shamsaran Dubesars. Uh, then emphasis on the culture and civilization of the particular nation. As we know that uh, India is very rich in the culture. And generally understanding or, or to take the reviews about our culture and civilization that has been carried forward through the social sciences. Generally, we know that young generation, when they come up in the field of the education and all, basically there is a requirement to provide the knowledge about our own culture, the good things, the certain uh, values are inserted in our culture that need to promote, that need to uh, inculcate in the minds of the students. And that work has been done by our social sciences. So that is why culture and civilization knowledge would be, uh, would be given to the, our student through the social sciences. And it play as a role as a uh, appropriate bridge, which is which try to uh, carry forward this certain thing towards the stu uh, students. <clears throat> then customs and habits. Generally, we know that in our sociology, there are so many things which are related to our uh, social phenomena, social activities, and social certain things. So that customs, habits, good things, etiquettes, and the certain values which are inserted in our culture and civilization, that would be transferred towards these students. Because being a faculty, we need to promote these certain things to our students in that way they will be the good citizen of india they will play their healthy role they will play their positive role to eliminate or sort out the various existing problems uh, generally being a faculty of the social science every year i give the certain uh, assignment to our students because under me there are 500 students and i tell them that if you do the certain things i will give the 40 out of 40 marks minimum 10 activities 10 social uh, things you need to do for our society and on that basis i will award the marks okay so like that, customs and habits would be inculcated among the students through the social sciences. And then we know that like crisis and some commitments we can be carried forward, we can be uh, fulfilled with this certain uh, situation. Etiquettes and conventions. Etiquettes and conventions also help to develop the personality and social minds. Uh, generally, we know that uh, being a faculty in the engineering college, we see our students, some, some of our students are very, very intelligence they are very sharp they are having the sufficient, sufficient knowledge of the engineering and all if you see their placement and all uh, fantastic but generally sometimes we uh, lacking among them the lacking of the etiquettes and conventions or certain good things which require to them become a, a gentleman they are good engineers but they should be gentlemen so that is why certain things will be helpful and that is why there is inclusion of the certain social sciences to these certain uh, areas and that work Anyhow, means as for the psychology of the Dubesars, we'll try to collaborate, we'll try to connect etiquettes and conventions and values towards the philosophy or thoughts of the Dubesar. Critical thinking and social understanding. Uh, like uh, so many issues has been taken by our Dubesar and there, if you minutely or majorly notice, the critical thinking, rational thinking, positive thinking, expected things, thinking has been done by the Shamsharan Dubesar, like caste system, indigestion of the society, um, uh, you know, uh, that uh, the particular good things towards to maintain the social control in the society, etc. Uh, that all uh, the things has been covered by the uh, Shamsharan Dubesar's in as a part of critical thinking and social understanding. We need to understand our society, we need to understand our community, we need to understand our social issues and social problem to maintain the dignity and authenticity as well as reliability in our society so that uh, particular work would be done by the social sciences and anyhow that is why uh, there is a need to maintain the appropriate uh, collaboration between crisis crisis are there problems are there but there is a need to give the commitment to eliminate the certain issues or certain problems because it's our indivisible duty it's our uh, our personal duty that we need to do something for the society and in that way we can make our society uh, uh, problem free or like this not all the problems but some of the problems we can be sorted out which are in our capacity which are in our hand that we can do then integrating ideas certain promotion of the ideas certain thoughts which are reliable and useful towards our society that uh, work has been somehow connected to the psychology of the advisors uh, as we know, the book edited by our uh, renowned sociologist Yogesh Hotel, uh, Yogesh Hotel Sahab. Uh, so, if you observe certain things which are connected or covered in the books, like the social sciences crisis and commitments in teaching an academic profession, it's required as we have the discussion about it, how the utility and other things is helpful to our students. Social engineering, 
uh, there are two concepts nowadays which we see everywhere like social engineering and human engineering how engineering is there but how it will be connected to the society how we can colla collaborate the engineering uh, uh, engineering knowledge towards this society so uh, somehow we can connect the certain points with the uh, philosophy or uh, thoughts of the dube sir objectivity and neutrality uh, throughout the uh, literature if we have the minutely observation we can notice there is objectivity and neutrality means dube sir's literature is not tilting to any particular group it goes as a neutrality manner objectivity is there reality is there factuality is there and so that is why the thoughts of the dube sirs are reliable and useful to maintain the particular dignity particular uh, track of the society in appropriate way so that is why uh, we need to understand the literature of the dube sirs then social sciences and realities under it we can have the certain points like discovery of the facts and interpretation uh nowadays we see as we know being a faculty of the sociology uh, what are the facts and how the discovery of the facts has been taken place and how, and how it can be interpreted towards with context to the social issues and all so uh, like we need to identify some facts and we try to interpret the literature or thoughts of the dube sirs like facts are there we need to test and with today's context if we add certain things so it will be the appropriate interpretation with context to the philosophy or thoughts of the professor then identification of the problems and issues we need to identify root causes regarding to the particular problems generally nowadays we see that india is the country of the social problems we cannot deny it each and every sphere of the life there are the plenty of social problems there is a chain of the social problem and generally there is a characteristics like means the indian problems indian social problems are complex problems if you try to focus on the particular one problem it give the birth to the various problem so that is why there is a complexity among the social problems of india so that is why there is need to identify the particular problems with the appropriate strategy to sort out it or eliminate it and if you notice certain things so there are some suggestions there are some points which are helpful to sort out and identify the various issues pertaining towards our society towards our nation that we consider or that we can have the study under identification of the problems and issues social sciences and developing society generally when we compare our society with developed countries non developed countries so somehow the thoughts of these researchers are correlated to it like if you develop yourself with america japan or certain developed countries when we compare our society or our nation with pakistan afghanistan or bangladesh and certain non developed countries so we can say like that particular setup that particular structure we can notice through the social sciences and when that particular uh, crisis uh, and through means that particular crisis we can sort out with the help of the a suitable commitment which should will come out from our heart and mind social sciences and national development there is a correct and appropriate equation we can notice through the social sciences we can ignite the minds of the uh, student as well as uh, the persons and through that we can maintain the national development development and we can choose the path of the profess there are so many things which are inserted in our culture in our civilization which are helpful to uh, towards the national development we need to promote it and the certain philosophy or ideology has been given by our uh, sham charan dubey sir later sir Applied research, theory building, and develop, uh, developing research potential, we can be noticed in the literature of the uh, Dubey sirs. Uh, so that is why we need to promote, we need to understand, we need to identify it. Uh, with context to Indian society, particularly Indian sociology intervention challenges and development, that particular theme is noticed in the when we have the detail. Uh, introspection of our uh, the research literature in digestion of the social sciences that is also a useful concept we can be identified and with the certain things we can go ahead and if you understand well if you promote it the philosophy of the uh, the research if you promote towards our student or uh, the student of the sociology students of uh, the uh, various fields obviously it will help to maintain the track of the society track of the nation 
and in that way we can maintain the social control in the society also we, uh, we get the knowledge of the certain issues and certain factors which are existing in our society and in our nation of course so with this history strictly speaking the study of questions the study of the answers belong to the anthropology and sociology so that beautiful quote uh, is fit with context to the ideology or philosophy of our Shamcharan Dugesar. With this, I would like to conclude my thoughts. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you once again to all for listening, uh, for listening uh, uh, my lecture. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Dr. Gopi Nimbarka, sir, uh, for your uh, very useful, uh, tremendous, and uh, helpful uh, uh, advantage helpful suggestions and helpful your speech jo sabhi bhavi sociologists ko bhi bahut kaam aayegi aur jo dubey saab ki ek unknown side thi wo aapne ujagar ki hum sab logo ke samne once again thank you very much sir ab main aaj ke hamare chairperson professor ravindra kumar mohanti sir ko request karunga ki wo chair person ke roop mein apna vaktavya idhar humko de please sir dr mohanti sir sir unmute kariye sir sir mohanti sir unmute kar dijiye Okay, my good acquaintance, Dr. Gopi, we have been fair to each other earlier, and my dear uh, friend, Dr. Chala, and his colleagues, and uh, the learned participants. joining virtually in this program thank you it's a privilege and a pleasure to acknowledge your offer as the chairperson of this webinar but i would prefer to call myself or play the role of a co-panel panelist rather than acting as a ceremonial chairperson of this great occasion and the beautiful program S.C. Dube is more known as S.C. Dube rather than Samacharan Dube. Many of our students and faculties also do not know the full name of August Kamt. They prefer abbreviations because it is easy to remember. हेलो सर थोड़ा नेटवर्क इश्यू है अच्छा हाँ ओके सर ओके ओके सिमिलरली मेनी पीपल डू नॉट नो द फुल नेम ऑफ अगस्त कम इसी डोर अगस्त फ्रंकेस मैरी जाबियर कम दैट इज द फुल नेम ऑफ अगस्त कम एट वर्डेड नेम सो देर फोर i would prefer the role of a co panelist and will supplement 
the brief and crisp lecture delivered by my young friend dr gopi i would rather supplement his lecture and would add to the certain things which otherwise require our attention so i will divide my chair person's remarks or the speech of the panelist into four parts the first part is about the title of this webinar second is a little reflection on who this hero of heroes was professor s c dubey produced many hero now nearly a forgotten hero i appreciate the efforts made by dr jala to bring a discussion on such a great hero great personality little bit background of that then third is the crisis in social sciences fourth is the commitment this will make are the efforts of gopi and mine complete and we can add meaning to your efforts and india war first the lecture delivered by dr gopi made the title of your webinar right the title of the webinar is on the crisis and commitments in the social sciences gopi made it in his presentation and you have missed it in your poster on is not there in fact this is a book written in honor of sc dubey by one of his proud students the photograph shown by dr gopi jogesh atal the book title of the book is on the crisis and commitment in the social sciences which was published in the year 1983 <coughs> and this book comprises of the seven lectures that sc dubey delivered at different places atal ji joge satal atal ji is a very familiar name i am talking about joge satal he was one of the ardent and most loyal student of sc dubey and he compiled these lectures which were published in the year 1983 what is it all about what is the crisis <coughs> all these slides and points made by dr gopi 
related to the essays published in that book beautifully and i cannot be as precise as dr gopi was pardon me crisis refers to the problems the issues the dangers that was something which ac dubey pondered over was concerned about and dubey was really worried about and wanted something to be done that is crisis that we are going to discuss in the context of asidu then what is commitment commitment means dedications obligations engagements of asidu be towards these causes that is the title of your webinar number 1 first part is over come to the second part ac dubes background ac dube did not know that he will be an anthropologist or a sociologist but he prepared himself from the very childhood that brought him to be an eminent professor of anthropology he was initially interested in folklore folk culture and folk songs therefore his first book was published in the year 1948 one year after our independence the field songs of chatisgarh which dn majundar liked and wanted this book to be published in lucknow this is number 1 number 2 from the very childhood he was at a disadvantage because his mother died at the age of 8 he recovered from loneliness by being an avid reader studied a lot of materials on culture during his childhood and he was a voracious reader number 2 number 3 about his personality probably very smart tall well built and a very handsome person in terms of his hair style smoking style with churut that piped pop to smoke you know and the hair style that is there in your poster and his personality was such when he was standing in the podium he was best fitting as a unique person and a unique speaker that was a sidhu be similarly if you read the writings on madam leela dubey including that of her madam leela dubey also writes the circumstances under which she tried to choose to marry ac dube there are two factors which led to this marriage 
वन वॉज ए सी दुबे पर्सनैलिटी नंबर टू इंटरेस्ट इन एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड कल्चर इन विच मैडम लीला वॉज रियली वेरी इंटरेस्टेड बोथ ऑफ देम वेर कपल्स समटाइम्स मैडम लीला टोल्ड दैट आई एम द रिसर्च एसोसिएट ऑफ श्यामाचर एंड दुबे but later they were so brilliant no one le- was less than the other lesser than the other they became disciple of each other ac dube was a disciple of lila dube lila dube was a disciple of ac dube in uh, that sense though they were distinct then number 4 if unity in diversity is to be found or internationality or globalism that dr gopi talked about or to be found this was found in professor s dobe tell me the place in india where he has not worked from madhya pradesh study in nagpur then sarv brata nagpur several lots of places institute of social science agra anthropological survey of india nagpur usmania university institute of uh, advanced study simla as the director is president of indian sociological society and also vice chancellor of jammu university but in his teaching career two places were significant where he built up himself as a sociologist and anthropologist proper one is lucknow university another is university of sagar where he settled himself he had also worked in soas school of oriental and african studies london london school of economics cornell university unesco un international figure aj you know which gave him profound prominence in that sense although trained in political science as dr gopi said he was interdisciplinary in his orientation now people in public administration say that they are too different from political science political scientists also have similar idea it's very nice that you have a department of social science not sociology probably best fitting to dubey's ideas dr gopi's department has multi speciality interdisciplinary character probably you are the best fit to discuss on obdu obey the discuss on dube in uh, that sense ac dube next had varied interests probably there is nothing about social reality about which ac dube has not written do you know ac dube has total 437 publications written in seven language english hindi inclusive village studies 
ट्राइबल सोसाइटी कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट सोशल चेंज डेवलपमेंट एंड मॉडर्नाइजेशन एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली डेवलपमेंट प्लानिंग एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वेर वेरी कोर टू हिज हार्ट very close to his heart he has give, been given several assignments as a director of community development institute rural institute but probably the patronage was not enough in government of india to take him as one of the members of the planning commission which ac dubey had the profound desire that is the only desire which he could not meet but otherwise ac dubey got whatever he has tried to desire then coming to the year the celebrated work indian village you know he studied first the kamar a tribe in madhya pradesh then multi ethnic group at samirpet which gave him this celebrated work indian village and osmania university as a reader of anthropology was very important indian village and then his interest in village studies emerged because he had a great inclination towards rural studies number 1 and most importantly as you have said 1952 cdp community development project brought him a lot of interest in the village studies therefore under kannal university he was given the assignment to evaluate the cdp program in saharanpur in western uttar pradesh that gave him the book called india's changing villages i'll tell you his commitments and credentials at the end few minutes after but this is most important in that sense yes he dube had the right mentors had the right privilege had the right patronage as well for which he received a lot of encouragement and the influence that was there on S. C. Dube, those influences were basically from D. N. Majumdar. D. N. Majumdar, the famous Indian anthropologist, made S. C. Dube the anthropologist of his stature. That is the most important thing. Then Raymond Firth. at at soas london school of oriental and african studies wanted that this indian village be published by rutledge and kegon paul the material was of that variety he recommended raymond for and it was published and it got a lot of international recognition 
in that sense. Lot of international uh, recognition is this. Then when he evaluated this project, he was invited to Cornell University by Maurice Appler and Hemindruff was also very important. So, D. N. Majumdar wanted that book on folk songs of Chhattisgarh to be published, and it was published. Raymond Forth encouraged publication of Indian Village. It was published by Rutledge and Kegonpong. Then Oplor, Maurice Oplor from Cornell mentored him also and wrote the introduction to India's changing village introduction and that was published in the year 1958 you know India's village the structural aspects were studied in Indian village. The dynamics of change in the village community, especially a post-CDP community development program were best reflected in India's changing uh, villages. The book, you know, uh, I'll tell you about this particular book. 1955 is one of the celebrated years in Indian sociology and Indian anthropology. Remember, what is that? This year marks the very beginning of what you call the village studies proper. Three books were published on Indian village, which is world, which are world famous today. And most prominent was S. Dubey's book, Indian village. McKim Marriott also brought out the book on village studies in the same year, 1958. Village India. Then M. N. Sinivas, 1955, also published India's Villages. Do you understand? So, village studies really flourished not only the structural dimensions, but also the several aspects that have been studied. We are uh, that were uh, taken care of and really uh, studied. So this is with this, the second part of my lecture is over. The background, the context in which we are to see A. C. Dube, who he was, A. C. Dube. Now come to your webinar. The issues. What is the issue which Dubey pondered over? And A.C. Dubey was such that he had identified several social challenges and the problems, but did not leave it there. He had also suggestions to give. There is a diagnosis to every prognosis. He was efficient in both. The first issue that I would like to flag here was this. The subject disciplines must go beyond their narrow disciplinary boundary. 
and therefore he recognized the need for interdisciplinary research and practice he recognized the interplay of social cultural as dr gopi has said educational economic political and territorial aspects in understanding social structure political science and public administration are not different social work and sociology are not different to do be they are to be put to perspective the commonality amongst them is to be found out subject matter may vary but method is common to all theory puts the thing things to context therefore in this particular book i refer to on crisis and commitment jogesh otter writes about his dubes interdisciplinary character and i quote dube jogesh otter jogesh otter was the director of social science development department in unesco he writes in the same book dube chose the challenging task of exploring new territory and extending the frontier of knowledge on court this was a see dube you know dube is no more but he was so alive in the hearts and minds of his students loved students that we don't know whether we have we have created such ambience for our students to be remembered once we go then second challenge or the crisis that he tried to face in his presidential address in chandigarh he was president of all india sociological society dube was very critical about was really worried about the crisis in indian social science and exploded three myths one the western theory that is what a dr gopi was talking about indigenization indigenousness then western theory indian empiricism and the third one is radical marxist thinking arch against this he really tried to suggest that there must be a very comprehensive reference for the study of complex cultures unity in diversity in india this idea can be best understood from two of his books one is explanation and management of change which was published in the year 1971 and contemporary india and its modernization 1974 that was his concern you know so therefore he tried to suggest that the crisis is evident when you draw narrow conclusions and take micro perspectives 
he was interested in macro perspective and therefore dube went on to argue in his lecture this lecture is there in this particular book also that i am referring to theoretical formulations and empirical verification of formulations must be properly combined to best understand the social reality you know this idea gave rise to further debate in indian sociology and anthropology about the binary between book view and field view understand book view and field view it's a huge debate and this furthered also the debate about for sociology in india in that sense then number 3 he debunked the traditional definition of anthropology that anthropology is the study of primitive man dubey didn't agree with this particular definition similarly dubey also didn't agree with the definition of village studies given by village given by charles metcalf and sir henry main village as a self sufficient autonomous unit no 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 you have not understood it properly there are several complexities so therefore he tried to suggest that while anthropology while studying primitive man also tends to have its access towards the study of complex cultures village is not autonomous in the light of change and development that we are basically trying to talk about then in the, uh, as i told you earlier next point is this india's changing village is an outcome of post cdp by government of india study of evaluation of saharanpur district cdp in ustan uttar pradesh dubey was highly concerned with the development the pitfalls in the development administration more top down is the approach to development less successful is the praxis of development this is a see dubey the emphasis was not on top down rather development of the village or development planning and administration must be bottom up things that are decided in delhi may not be applicable to gachiroli district are you getting the point and that is the problem i'll give you one example of 
the this top down approach of community development program under community development program smokeless chula was introduced you know what are the smokeless chula that people are having respiratory problems and uh, the jakma was a type of is i don't know bronchitis ha huh? type of thing they were suffering so that they introduced smokeless chula as fuel efficient also but at that particular point of time in villages they had thatched the houses when smokeless chula was introduced it have looked good it has come from delhi no ha huh? but after some days they found that their thatched roof is totally damaged because of smokeless chula why smokeless chula is all right fuel efficient can cure bronchitis or prevent bronchitis but once the smoke doesn't pass through the thatched roof white ants eat away the entire thatched roof delhi cannot visualize this it is only village which can visualize this they had smokeless chula but the roof without cover in due course do you understand that is the difference between top down and this thing then dube makes certain statements about inadequate paradigms of development this is the last point of the crisis that i'm going to discuss and i quote three statements from dube written in this particular book what is the inadequate paradigm of development number 1 development has made no visible change in the degraded lot of the common mass many are in hunger few elites have their luxurious consumption dube lamented second statement dube makes and i quote no country permitting lakhs of children remain under nourished can justifiably register the claim that it is modernizing what a beautiful statement then the last statement 8000 persons are added to the list of unemployed every day dubey visualized them 8000 people are added to the list of unemployment every day this is the inadequate paradigm of development therefore dube suggested growth centric economics must close and convert itself to development centric social science so these are the challenges then the last point about the commitments i'll flag to 3 then i'll complete hope i have not taken more time than necessary number 1 when being in the profession of sociology and anthropology he was highly committed to the development of a holistic social science this is commitment this was a sido ke number 2 he was committed to a practice of social science 
not armchair theorizing. Development planning and successful praxis. What is praxis? Praxis means implementation. He was a true authority on development administration. Number three, he was really committed to adequately publish and disseminate his own ideas. Whatever were left out, his students published them. Do you know, Indian village by now has received 73 editions. Do you know? Indian village has been published and reprinted 73 times, including US and UK. India's changing village has been reprinted 54 times. He has total 435 publications and he is widely Read. Last next is a post retirement. He thought that his ideas should be flourished in Hindi language. Last few years, he started writing all in Hindi, not in English. Do you know three books were published? in Hindi in the year he died, 1996. Samar or Sanskriti, Bharatiya Samaj, you know, these were his writings. Next, the last point about his commitment, a solid anthropologist with profound brilliance, a great man, well-sung hero. His care, diligence, mentorship produced a very good group of loyal students. We teach, but we need to have our own commitments towards our students. Isidube was a great man. His students were no less. T. N. Madan, Jugesh Atal are the brilliant examples. Isidube guided T. N. Madan from his graduation days. Do you know this? From his graduation days. Then Madan was not his colleague initially. And he liked the boy so much that he frequently, Dubes frequently invited Madans to their family for dinner. Then I'll end with one of the quotations from S.C. Dube about his commitment. Written in this particular book that we are discussing on crisis and commitment. You check page number 56, this quotation will be available. What is he saying? I quote S.E. Dube. Posterity will judge us by the degree to which we respond creatively to the challenges of contemporary reality. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for your uh, very informative and uh,
माइक्रो टू मैक्रो लेवल स्पीच इट्स अ रियली मोटिवेशनल स्पीच एंड वेरी यूजफुल स्पीच हम लोग बोलते हैं ऐसे ही रविंद्र कुमार सर को सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड स्ट्रेटेजिक पर्सन नहीं कहा जा सकता है ऐसे आज हम लोगों ने ये हम आपने हमको जो अभी ये सजेशंस दिए ये स्पीच दी जो आपके थॉट्स दिए इट्स अ सेल यू टू हाई थॉट प्रोफेस थॉट प्रोसेस एंड हाई इंटेलिजेंस सर थैंक यू वेरी मच वंस अगेन एंड नाउ मे आई इनवाइट माय कलीग डॉक्टर रुचिराज उपाध्याय फॉर द वॉट ऑफ थैंक्स प्लीज नमस्कार आज के इस कार्यक्रम में उपस्थित सबसे पहले भक्त कवि नरसिंह मेहता यूनिवर्सिटी के मान्य कुलपति श्री प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर चेतन त्रिवेदी साहब का मैं धन्यवाद करता हूँ कि उन्होंने पूरे साल यह कार्यक्रम ऑनलाइन माध्यम से प्रसारित करने की अनुमति दी है भारत के बहुत ही ख्यातनाम समाज शास्त्री एवं रोहन शास्त्री प्रोफेसर एस सी दुबे जी के जन्म शताब्दी वर्ष के लिए समाज शास्त्र विभाग पूरे साल यह कार्यक्रम कर रहा है और इसी कार्यक्रम के अंतर्गत आज उपस्थित विश्वेश्वरैया नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी के समाज विज्ञान और ह्यूमनिटीज के अध्यक्ष डॉक्टर दौ, गोपीनाथ निम्बार निम्बारते जी का मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूं कि उन्होंने इस कार्यक्रम में उपस्थित रहकर अपने इस समग्र वर्ष दौरान चलने वाले इस कार्यक्रम में अपने विचार प्रकट किए साथ ही इस कार्यक्रम के चेयरपर्सन डॉक्टर आर के मोहंती सर का भी मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूं कि उन्होंने इस वक्तव्य के बारे में भी अपने विचार रखे और एस सी दुबे जी का पूरा व्यक्तित्व के साथ उनका जो भी कंट्रीब्यूशन है उसके पर एक कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव अपने विचार रखे हैं इस कार्यक्रम में मैं दोनों ही वक्ता एवं चेयरपर्सन का तय दिल से आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ इस कार्यक्रम के कन्वीनर प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर जय सिंह झाला सर का भी मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूं कि उन्होंने यह कार्यक्रम सुचारू रूप से आयोजित किया योग्य रूप से कार्यक्रम का संचालन करने वाले प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर देवानी साहब का भी मैं आभार व्यक्त करता हूं और अंत में इस समग्र कार्यक्रम को लाइव प्रसारित कर रहे अपनी आईसीटी टीम के सभी सदस्यता सदस्य का भी आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ साथ में टेक्निकल सपोर्ट प्रोवाइड कर रहे कपिल भाई मकवाना का भी धन्यवाद और अंत में प्रत्यक्ष और परोक्ष रूप से इस कार्यक्रम में उपस्थित सभी लोगों का तहे दिल से आभार धन्यवाद अब ये नेशनल वेबिनार यहाँ हम लोग पूरा घोषित करते हैं कंप्लीट घोषित करते हैं थैंक यू वेरी मच वंस अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच वेलकम सर वेलकम सर